Hey guys, in this video we're going to configure a Cisco Access Server. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to install a Microsoft loopback adapter. You can find out how to install a loopback adapter by googling it or there's quite a few videos on YouTube. Uh, one thing we do need to do here though, we need to give this loopback ad uh, adapter a, a static IP address. So we're gonna go with let's say 2.2.2.2 subnet mask we're going to keep it uh, class A 255.0.0.0 now the gateway we're going to do 2.2.2.1 we're going to use this same gateway IP address on our Cisco router okay that's done then going back over to the GNS screen we first need to console in to the access server then what we need to do we need to get a cloud into the topology and we're going to configure the cloud under the NIO Ethernet we're going to add the loopback address loopback adapter in the cloud then we're going to connect this router let's say the fast Ethernet 1.0 to the cloud basically what it does it allows your uh, PC to be able to communicate with this particular access server using your loopback adapter. Now what we need to do is we're going to give this interface that IP address that we used over here the gateway address which is 2.2.2.1 so let's go ahead and give that an IP address that would be interfaced fast one zero IP address two dot two dot two dot one now again this is the IP address we used as the gateway address of the loopback adapter one too many zeros no shutdown just gonna write it real quick next thing we need to do we need to go over here in the console window of GNS and type in a command list over here you can see the auxiliary port numbers for router 1 and router 2 they're 2503 2507 we're going to use these port numbers in the access server to be able to communicate with these two routers over here so what we need to do is go to configure terminal now we use the command IP host it's asking you to give it a name for the IP host the first one is going to be R1 for the router 1 now it's asking you to give it a telnet port number which is going to be the auxiliary port number over here for R1 we see it 2507 then it's asking you to enter an IP address. Now for both of these routers we're going to use the IP address of the loopback adapter which is 2.2.2.2 right here 2.2.2.2 again we're going to add IP host router 2 this time now for the router 2 the port number is 2503 so we add that over here 2503 2.2.2.2 now write it again now all we have to do to connect to router 1 at this point is you just type in the name R1 it's not case, case sensitive so you don't have to worry about that and there you go we're connected to router 1 now there are other configurations you have to uh, do on these two routers the router 1 router 2 they're very simple um, I'll show you one of them just like uh, if you try to go to enable mode it's going to tell you that there's no password set all you have to do is just uh, set a password over at router 1 configure terminal enable password we'll just use Cisco now going back over to the access server again now you try go enable mode now it's asking for the password which is Cisco 
and there we are. Uh, to close this connection, going back to the access server, what do you have to do? Control, shift, the number six, then X. And if you hit enter, it is going to resume the connection with R1. Uh, my computer is acting a little slow. There you go, it's R1. Again, to close this connection, control, shift, the number six, then X. Oh, control, shift, the number six, X. And there you are. And that is exactly how you configure an access server using a Cisco router using GNS3. Please feel free to ask any questions or uh, give me any comments. Thank you.